All right, now let's look at how we can connect these up. Let me move this. We're going to be trying to connect this area up. So what let's do first is let's just take a look again at the edges. I'll tab into edit mode, and it looks pretty good. We've got them lined up pretty well, but I think before we do anything, I'm going to try and get them a little bit more evenly spaced on the hood part. So I'll come up here to the top view with the 7 key, and let's, uh, let's take this one here and hit G two times and move it back just a bit. Let's take this one and move it forward toward the front of the car just a hair. So I just want to get these a little bit more evenly spaced, that's all. Just trying to keep the polygons generally the same size from one part of the vehicle to the other. So something like that, that's a little bit better. They're a little bit more evenly sized here. If you want, we can take a couple of these and move them around a bit to have it flow a little better. We can try that. Yeah, that looks pretty good for now. Okay, so now what we can do is we can just begin connecting these up. Once again, I'll turn off the subdivisions over here. And uh, we could probably just select this one here and hit the F key. And then once again, select two points and then just hit the F key and see how we do as it moves forward here. All right, I think that'll work. And then we need to take a look at it. Let me hide the trunk. As it comes down here and around down underneath the headlights. So maybe I will move this down just a bit like this. Pull these down just a bit. And then let's begin extruding down. I think we are going to need to um, insert an edge loop here. We'll see how that looks. I'm just getting these so they kind of curve down toward the fender here. All right, so now let's go to the quad view, Control Alt Q, and I'll tumble around here. And then let's uh, begin extruding these down. So I'll press Alt Z so I can see through the side here. And let's select this and then Control click this. And these are the ones we're going to extrude down for now. So let's hit E and bring this down like this. I'm trying to curve it along this path here. And then let's do that one more time. Hit E and pull this down like this. There we go. Okay. I may want to move one or two of these out a bit just to conform to the drawing a little bit better. Let's try this. Okay, something like that. And it looks like these are pretty good here. You could maybe move that up like that. Okay, so we're just trying to keep an eye on it in all of our views. And then we need to connect this area up here. So I'm going to press Alt Z to go back to solid view. And we're going to need to connect this up. And this is where I think we're going to need that extra edge here. So let's go ahead and press Control R and add an edge in here. And I'll hit enter twice just to put it down the center because I'm not sure exactly where it should go at this point in time. In addition, what I'll do is maybe select uh, these edges here. I'll select this edge and this edge and this and this. And I want to bridge the edge loops here. Oh, I can still tumble here. I shouldn't be able to do that. I do like to lock these off because it can get confusing. I'm going to press the N key and turn on lock rotation for the quad view. And now I can't tumble here. So that I think could help. All right, so I want to bridge these edge loops under the edge menu. You've got bridge edge loops here. Or you can press Control E to bring up the same menu here. And I'll choose bridge edge loops. And there we go. And then once again, I'll press Control R and create an edge loop right there. Go back to vertex mode, and this point here, let's see if I hit G two times. Yeah, that's it there. So I will shift select this one, merge, and merge those two points at the last one selected. All right, let's take a look at this, see how we're doing. I will press Control Alt Q, I'll tab back into object mode, and I'll also turn on the subdivision surface modifier. 
Not bad, actually. That um, isn't too bad coming through here. We could take these points and slide them toward this area to get this edge a little bit sharper in here. We could try it. Let's just hit G and pull this over. And I'm just going to do each one individually, kind of like this. And each one maybe will move over a little bit less than the last. So let me move this, move this. So just a little tiny bit. Let's just see how this works. Yeah, that's not bad there. You can see that edge right there. And we're going to have some uh, puckering and problems anytime you have the subdivision surface on and you have an incomplete mesh like this. You're going to see some puckering and warping of the mesh here at the end of it, and that's fine. Here I could also maybe take this point and slide that over, maybe slide this one over. And I'm going to keep the edge around here because we're going to need that to create the fender as well. We need to kind of keep those in place just like we did for the hood, at least for now, because ultimately we are going to be using the smoothing mesh to create the exterior parts of the car, just like we did with the hood. And that's kind of why I wanted to do the hood first up front, just to show you the process but we will be duplicating the various parts, the various external parts of the car off of this smoothing mesh. And then once we do that, we'll be able to go back and dissolve edges, move points, whatever we want to do for the smoothing mesh to get it smooth and even. And then those external parts of the car will conform to that mesh. So ultimately, once we get all the parts, the exterior parts of the car created, it won't matter where the edges are or where the points are in the smoothing mesh as long as it looks good. Because as I said, the other parts, the external parts will conform to that. All right, let's move on and try and get this front part created. So yeah, we just need to come on around down here. I'm gonna press Control-Alt-Q, tumble around here so we can see that. And then let's do this here. I will. Uh, tab into edit mode, press Alt Z. I think what let's do is continue this point down. I'm gonna move this out a bit like this. And then I'll turn off the smoothing real quick. Now let's begin extruding this out. Oh, I pulled that out too far now, didn't I? Let me bring that back here. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna take these and begin extruding them down around here. So let's hit E and pull this out to about here, right? And then we will connect that point up. I'll hit G and move it back some. So let's then click this and that, M at last. And maybe I'll begin taking these and moving them back like this. Let's grab these again. Maybe I'll just select this edge. I'll hit the two key and select that edge and hit E and bring it down to about here. There we go. Go back to vertex mode with the one key and let's merge these together. Now we could begin taking all of this stuff right in here and extrude it over. What I'll do is just hit E and pull out like this. Maybe I'll hit the X key to conform it to the X axis. I'm just going to pull it right about to here, first of all. And then I'll connect these up right here, like that. Hit the F key so we have that face in place. And then let's just take, uh, well, maybe I'll grab this edge and hit G two times and bring this down just a bit. And then let's take all of these. I'll press Control. And well, let me uh, move this out a bit like this. There we go. And then let's just select all of these. And what we can do is just hit E and bring them all into the center. I'll hit E, bring them into the center. I'll hit the X key to conform it to the X axis. And when we bring them in, because we have clipping turned on, they clip together and that's good. And now we can take this part and move it out about like this. Let's bring it out to about right here. 
Now we need to give it more of a curve, so let's press Control R and click twice and then bring this out like this. Control R, bring this out. Control R, let's bring this out here. Maybe I'll bring this out a little further. So I'm just trying to get a nice curve here is all, at least from the perspective of the top view. There we go. All right, I'm going to press Control Alt Q, Alt Z, and let's take a look at it. All right, let's turn on our subdivision. Yeah, so I think that's pretty good for now. Once again, there's going to be things we need to adjust, but so much of it we're not going to know what we need until we build the exterior pieces. All right. All right. There we go. We've got the beginnings of the front of the car. I think now I'm going to come in here and do a little more rounding of these here. Let's do that. I'm going to pull forward just a bit with each of these to try and conform to the drawing a little bit better. It's a little more rounded like that. All right. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. Now, in the next video, what we're going to do is work on this area right up here. And this is a little more complex. It's going to get a little tight in here as we try and turn this up a bit right here and then curve around for the interior. But we're just going to use pretty much the same kind of tools and process we've been using. So we will work on that in the next video.